YouTube, it's good with y'all boys. We back with another video, as y'all can tell, bro. As y'all can tell by the thumbnail and the title today, I am finna do a life update, all right? So, I did something on Instagram where I told y'all to ask me questions a while back. And y'all gave me some good questions, so I'm finna answer it. And not only that, bro, I want to answer questions because I'm getting a lot of new supporters. So, I wanted y'all to, like, get to know who I am and things of that nature, if that makes sense. Um... Honestly, bro, I don't know if it's too bright in here or, or like, I need to turn off the light. What the hell is that? <laughs> Boy, I got scared. I thought I saw a bug crawling on, on, on the top of the wall. That scared the shit out of me. So I wrote them down right here because I use my phone as a camera. I ain't got a camera yet. So we doing the bootleg old fashioned, bro. I got like 11 questions that I had pulled out from what y'all had asked me and shit. So I'm finna answer them, all right? If y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all subscribe, like the video, bro. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, man. So, uh, first things first, tomorrow, well, in a couple of hours, I'm finna leave to New York for like two days. I'm gonna go chill over there, go see. Then I come back, and then I think I come back for a day or two, and then I shoot out to Mexico. So I got like a busy week this week, and I'm gonna try to vlog in New York and also in Mexico. So I can like show y'all how it is and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? Because some of y'all can't like travel like that. So I'm going to try to take y'all with me. And yeah, man, I'm just vlogging. So I had a busy week, but other than that, we're going to get right into it. All right. So first question is what inspired you to do what you do now? So what inspired me to do YouTube was basically like, I don't know, bro. I just feel like I can connect with people like doing YouTube. Uh, you connect with people, people get to watch your videos and you don't know them. And hopefully I can be like a role model or somebody y'all see as like a friend, like to talk to y'all, even though I don't like talk to y'all, but like, but like I try to talk to y'all and give y'all advice of like things I've been through and shit. Not only that, bro, but like, like I work when I want to, I do this whenever I want to, um, uh, freedom, bro. Like I can do this. It's fun to me. Um, I've always wanted to like do shit on the camera and talk to people and do shit like that. I don't know, bro. It's just, it, it's, this shit is just fun to me. Like I picked up on it as a hobby and now I started getting serious with it and I'm seeing a lot of growth. So I'm like, man, I can really do something big with this shit if I just stick to it and stay consistent. So this is why I'm doing YouTube and what got me into it type shit. All right. So second question y'all had asked me is how can you grow on YouTube? What I've been seeing I uh, started YouTube like three months ago, bro. I already hit a thousand subscribers. None of them are fake. I didn't buy nothing. Hit the 4,000 watch hours. I'm making money off my videos. Finally, uh, all thanks to y'all. I appreciate y'all. But the way to grow, bro, you got to be consistent. And some of y'all in my comments be telling me that all the time. Like consistency works. Consistency, like this is what hard work can get you and this and that. And y'all are right, bro. It's consistency. Consistency, consistency, consistency. As long as you can be consistent, bro. And you learn little things each and every video and get better at, like the thumbnails, um, the way you edit, the uh, sound effects in your videos, the storytelling, and just ideas. Bro, you, it, it's it's possible to get to wherever you're trying to be at if you just never give up. You see what I'm saying? Because the moment you give up, bro, it just you work like this hard for nothing. Honestly, you just work that hard for nothing. So that's the way to grow on YouTube is consistency, bro. And stick to a niche. Like, stick to a plan, stick to something. Like, if you want to be a vlogger, bro, vlog day in and day out. Don't stop vlogging. Vlog everything because everything is content. If you're trying to do reactions, you better be doing reactions every day, bro. Um, pranks, you better be doing pranks as much as you can. Try to be as consistent as you can. Um, question number three, what was your first car? So, my first car was, uh, my, well, actually, my first car was a 2011 Mustang. Just a regular V6 Mustang. It was a two-door. It was great. And then I think I was like 15 driving that. <laughs> and then once my 16th birthday came around, I got a C7 Corvette for my birthday, which surprised me out of nowhere. My dad had surprised me out of nowhere. And got emotional and shit because I didn't think he was going to buy me that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a six-year-old kid with a car like that. It's kind of crazy. But I'm responsible enough to take care of a car like that. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why I got it for me. Uh, question number four, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Honestly, in 10 years, right now I'm 20, bro. So in 10 years, I'll be 30. I want to at least be in a house, a nice ass house, a lot of land, uh, away from a lot of people. 
shit, probably in another state. I just don't know where. Uh, hopefully by then I have a kid, maybe two kids and a, and a wife. That's my goal is to have like a good little family and probably like a dog or something, honestly. And like five, no, four or five cars on some cool shit. You know what I'm saying? I got to give me a McLaren though. I got it. I got to give me a McLaren. So yeah. Um, another question. How do you deal with depression and negative thoughts? All right. So with this YouTube shit, this shit is kind of hard because you don't see success every single day. Like. You work hard. There's a video you might put out that you think is going to do crazy and it doesn't do what you expected. And honestly, the way I cope with like negative thoughts or like depression or any of that, bro, is just you got to find a hobby, bro. So I like cars. So me and my brother have some badass cars, right? And so does my dad. He has a nice car, quick cars, fast cars, right? And so I like to drive, bro, go get me some food, listen to music, get off my phone. Um, another hobby I got is that I picked up on, uh, recently was boxing, bro. I bought me a punching bag and I'd be in my garage at like 12 to two in the morning, just punching and listening to music. Honestly, bro, like y'all might think like, what the hell? But I'm telling you, bro, that shit makes you forget about things you got going on. I used to run a lot, like, uh, miles, like four or five miles a day. I stopped doing that. Uh, just because this boxing shit is just fun, fun to me to do. So it's anything, but you can literally pick up on anything, like playing basketball, going to play tennis, riding your bike, uh, reading a book, just something to get your mind off what you got going on in life. Because life is hard, bro. So you got to find things to be able to cope with things that you got going on. Cause nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect. So <clears throat> that's how I cope with shit. Um, another question I'll ask, I'm on number six. What's your favorite car? So my favorite car, dream car, is a McLaren. It's a McLaren 7, I think it's a 7 something, a Spider. I just love McLarens. I've seen a McLaren this one time in person and I just fell in love with it. I was like, damn, this car is badass. Like, everything about it is just badass. Like, that was badass. But, yeah. So, uh, another question. What's a fear you got over? Um... I think the biggest fear I've gotten over is, like, being shy. I'm low-key still kind of shy, but, like, I don't like to talk to people. Like, if somebody is going to talk to me, they got to they gotta start the conversation. I'm not going to start no conversation unless you start with me. You feel what I'm saying? So, I was always shy. Even in school, I, I was always shy. I've always been shy, bro. So, now I feel like me doing this, this YouTube stuff has opened me up to not be so shy and not care what nobody thinks. And, and you know, because, like, I don't know, I just talk to the camera and people look at me crazy, but I don't care no more, you know? Because I don't really know what I got going on. And not, not only that, bro, it's like, you do whatever you want in life. You feel what I'm saying? You're the only one going in that casket. You're going in there by yourself. So it don't matter how many people hate on you, how many people tell you don't do this, 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 and that. You're going to have to live with it the rest of your life. So that's what I'm saying. Like, do something you love, pick up on it, and be for real with that shit. Don't care what nobody tell you, bro. You don't, you don't understand how many people have told me, like, what the hell are you doing? This shit is corny. This shit is gay. Like, why are you doing this? But, bro, you do what you want. It's your life. You feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day, they're going to hate. But once I get to where I want to be at, they're going to be on my dick. So, it's like, bro, fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? That's everybody. Everybody that you look up to. It's just, that's just how it is. Best advice on going into senior year of high school. Live it up, bro. Because... Like, you go through kindergarten all the way to senior year just for it to be senior year, and you're ready for senior year, and you got, like, you got the whole school at your at your palms, and, like, everybody knows, like, the seniors, and they got all this shit going on. Just live that shit to the fullest, bro, because you're not going to get it back. You got prom. You got all kinds of different events, bro. Just live that shit up, because once you get out of that motherfucking year, bro, your ass going to see what the real world is, and that shit is not fun. This real world is not fun, bro. I'm telling you. People used to tell me that shit all the time. That shit is not fun. So whatever you do, bro, enjoy that shit. Enjoy school. Even if you're in middle school, enjoy school, bro. Enjoy it. Because once you get out, you're not going to be telling you, bro. That shit is a whole nother world. Question number nine. I got three. I got two more after this. Have you ever played sports? That's a great question. Um, I don't know if y'all, like, I haven't, like, show y'all, like, how tall I am and stuff like that. I'm only six foot, right? But I played every sport in middle school, right? Football, basketball, track, every sport. Every sport you can name, I did. High school, I did track and cross country and basketball. And then when I got to junior year, 
I quit cross country and track and just played basketball. And I actually played basketball in college, but I stopped playing. And I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I was pretty good. Like, I'm not. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. When, when I got to college, bro, I was like averaging around like 25 to 30 points. Where I was, I was there. I'm not saying we won every game, but I, I was, I was, I was pretty good, bro. Um, kind of wish I never quit. Kind of do, cause I want to be able to do this. You know what I'm saying? I always had an interest in this, but like on the back end of basketball, I always put like basketball over everything. So, do I? Do I think I would have been? even better at basketball or like somewhere like D1 or somewhere that I wish I could have because I tried out for a D1 but I didn't make it because I just I, I just wasn't good enough bro I just wasn't but I did get um invited to a D1 like campus to see and play against their players but it was a whole another world bro like, but I, I think I could have played on that on that level for sure but it is what it is man it's like Advice for 15, 16 year old on being successful. So, the biggest advice I can give you, bro, at, at your age, young age, bro, is find something that you like, find something that you love. I think I say this like a lot, like a lot. But, bro, if you're already at that mindset to where you don't like to party, you don't like to drink, you don't like to do none of that, you just focus on making money, bro, find something that you like, perfect that shit, and keep going. You're 15, 16, bro. If you. A good, a good five years, bro. Good five years. You're going to be like 20, 21, bro, my age. You're going to already have money, millions and trillions. Of, not many trillions. Trillions is crazy. But 100,000 to millions of dollars, bro, if you just perfect that shit and just keep going and don't give up. Just don't give up. That's it. Just consistent. Don't give up, bro. You're going to get to where you want to be at. It's that simple. And just keep getting better day by day. So yeah, that's the advice. And last question is, do you work out or go to the gym? So, I do not lift no weights. I used to, but I don't no more. All I do is cardio, bro, honestly. And I punch a bag with like 12 ounce gloves on, which kind of like makes my uh, biceps hurt and shit. Only sometimes, bro, because them, them gloves be low-key heavy. Like 12 ounces ain't shit, but like they be heavy, bro. Compared to like eight ounce gloves, but I just be punching a bag. I used to run, but I don't really run a lot. I just do be doing cardio. That's it, bro. So I don't get fat. That's it. I don't want to be fat. I can't be fat. But yeah, bro. That's my eleven questions that that I got off of Instagram that y'all asked me. I appreciate that. Uh, if y'all not following me on Instagram, it should be in the in the description. My link to Instagram. Uh, I should be throwing out a couple vlogs, bro. I'm gonna be in New York. I'm gonna be in Mexico, like I said. I'll be flying everywhere. I'm gonna go see where my dad's actually from. Well, not my dad, but my grandpa is actually from Mexico. So, I've never been out there to see where he's from. So, I'm going to go see where he's from. So, yeah, bro. That's all I got to tell y'all. I don't know what else really to say. Um, That's me. My little bit about me and my life and things of that nature and things that I wanted to tell y'all, bro. We got to blow up, man. Got to blow up. I'm telling you, bro. We got to blow up. We going to blow up, though. We're going to blow up. We're going to blow up. I know we're going to blow up. Manifest. Keep praying. Keep working. That's it. That's all you got to do, bro. Just keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Like clockwork. That shit don't stop. All right, y'all. It is currently... Look, I'm working right now, bro. I got to fly out in like five, four hours, bro. It's like three in the morning, bro. Hold on. Oh, shit. I dropped that. Look, bro. Y'all see that? 3.08. Y'all see that? 3.08 in the morning, bruh. We working while they sleeping. You feel what I'm saying? We working while they sleeping. And this month is my birthday month, bruh. And I'm going to Vegas. Well, I'm not going this month, but I'm going in June. But my birthday is uh this month, so. I got a lot of shit, man, going on this month and next month. But I'm ready for it, bruh. I need to, I got to keep going, bruh. I said... I didn't even say it, but I said if I can be consistent for on YouTube for a year, bro, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get somewhere. I'm I'm already making money on it, bro. So it's just like we just gotta keep going up, bro. So I, I appreciate y'all, man. Uh, hopefully y'all having a great day, great night, great school day. I don't know when y'all watching me, but I appreciate y'all, bro. Real shit. And yeah, man, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next vlog. DG out, bro. Dev gang out, bro. Peace.
Bro, I said bye. Oh.